It's beer o'clock on me, Lil Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Stannery Brew Co. This is their Fat Head American Brown Ale, coming in at 7.4% ABV in a 440 milliliter can. These guys were one of the stars of the show at Brew London 2022. Uh, there was an app, a Pint Please app, that everybody seemed to be using at the time. And these guys were right up there with the brewery of the whole kind of show. Um, lots of people enjoying their beer, drinking their beer. I think they're based, I think it might be torn some way. We'll have a look now. Tavistock, Tavistock in Devon. Uh, we'll get to all of that in a moment. First and foremost, I want to get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. I had a couple of beers with the guys down at Brew London, the guys from Stannery. American Brown Ale, here we go then. Right, beer in the glass, two to three finger, slightly off-white. You could probably, yeah, it's off-white. It's not tan-coloured, it's off-white. You have, for a brown ale, yeah, it's definitely on its way to looking brown, isn't it? It's almost a very, very, very light amber. Uh, brown ale, good levels of carbonation. You can see there's some sediment there making its way, floating around the bottom of the can. That's all good. That's all good. I would rather that in my glass of beer and taste lots of flavour rather than it be filtered out and poured down the drain. When you do that as a brewer, when you when you get rid of all of the best stuff in a beer just to make your beer look bright, it's really annoying. I find it really annoying. Like if you look at a Marston's Pedigree or a Spitfire or something along those lines, they really should be looking like this, hazy and unfiltered. They don't need to be bright. You don't need to drink with your eyes. Great head retention, good carbonation as I rock the beer back and forth. Let's get the aroma then. Yeah, that smells really good. Really good. There's a good level of caramel coming through. A biscuitiness, a nuttiness. But it's hoppy. Really, really hoppy. There's a little bit of orange peel, grapefruit coming through. A little bit of licorice. Oh, it smells delightful. Dark fruits coming through. Plum, fig, prune. A little bit of pipe tobacco smoke in the aroma. This is a really, really complex beer. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, yeah. Oh. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. What a beer this is. Mmm. You feel that tingle of carbonation. Just as you hold the beer in your mouth, you can feel that little hiss and spring of carbonation pushing the beer around the inside of the mouth, releasing more of them flavours. It's nutty, it's bready, it's biscuity. There's licorice definitely coming through in there. It's hoppy. There's a little bit of kind of orange peel. Fleshy blood orange flavours coming through. It's got a nice creamy, rich mouthfeel for that 7.4% ABV. 
it's really good. You get some dark fruits as well. It's like plum, fig and prune flavours coming through. I think that would be a combination of American hops and British hops used in the beer. But it's really, really good. Now, I'm going to say, um, I, I'm going to talk about Brew London from, well, I mean, I touched on the beer. The beer is very, very good. But I've got a story to tell about Brew London. So I, I was at Brew London, of course, um, met the guys at Stannery. And um, one of the chaps there, um, really, really lovely guy, um, talking to me. And he said, look, can we have a quick selfie? Took a, took a picture, put his phone down on the bar. And literally, we had a quick conversation, turned round, and his phone had gone. Um, by that time, I'd wandered off. I was kind of somewhere else. Um, but the, this, this, this bloke came up to me and he was like, have you seen my phone? We just had it. I just took a picture. We were just doing a selfie. And I was like, oh, I'm really sorry. No, I, I, I'm, I'm really sorry. I haven't, I, I haven't seen your phone. And, and um, it's awful, isn't it? Because... 15 years ago, if you lost your phone, you'd probably be talking about a £15 flip phone that is easily replaceable. But this day and age, this day and age, if you lose your phone at a beer festival, all your bank cards are stored on there, all of your precious memories, your photos, everything is stored on there. You know, it's, it's your... It's your world, isn't it? Your world is stored on there. And I, I, I can fully understand the, 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 this poor bloke, you know, someone, someone had his phone away and, and you could see, um, it, it was like almost sheer panic. Like, well, where's my phone? Where's my phone? Um, but anyway, it turns out, talked to some, somebody at the festival who was really techy, really knew his stuff. And he, he, he downloaded an app called Where's My iPhone or, or Find My iPhone or something like that. So, bum, 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 did what he had to do, press a button, and the phone was still at the festival. The phone was still at the festival, but it was in the outside area, the outside eating area, where you could buy yourself a hot dog or a burger or some pizza or something. And, and this bloke was like, I never went out there. I have not been outside. I've been at my bar. And I've just been kind of like concentrating on this this business, this Stannery Brewing Company. So let's have a sip of beer a minute. This bloke makes his, makes his way outside. Tracking, tracking, tracking his iPhone. And there's a bloke asleep in the corner. There's a bloke asleep in the corner with a bag on the side of him. And he pushed the button and the phone started ringing. So this bloke was fast asleep, drunk, at the beer festival. Stannery Bruco, the, the, the lovely chap there, reached into his bag, got his phone, gave this guy a nudge, called him a... that type of thing, um, and, and, and politely walked away. Um, but it just shows, doesn't it? I mean... This is a ticketed event. Brew London is a ticketed event. And this guy bought... It was a trade show. It was a trade event. Like, who in their right mind steals people's phones at a brewery trade event? It was almost to the point where I thought, I've heard it all now. I've heard it all now. I go to these beer festivals and I'm leaving stuff about the place all the time. I leave beers in rooms and in bags in the corner of festivals. You go there at the end, like after a day or two, that bag is still there. That bag is still there where your beer's in. They're still there. You trust people at these events. It must have been a super rare occasion where some... It has got has made his way into the festival and 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 did what he did. Um, I just hope that kind of it didn't put Stanley off too much and they return. They return to. 
through London maybe next year. Uh, the reason why I say that is because my wife is from, um, she's from Salisbury, but she moved to a place called Princetown um, in Devon. Uh, she lived in Princetown in a place called Hessery Terrace. And it turns out this very bloke who I just talked about with his phone actually lived on Hessery Terrace in Princetown, which is quite a remarkable thing, isn't it? So uh, it's the reason we, we got on really well. We got on really well all weekend. And um, yeah, check out Stannery Brewing Company. Their beer is, is really, really good. Really, really good. That is a top end American Red Ale. Look at it. I'm going to rate it. Nice and hazy, unfiltered, great look, great aroma. Fantastic, malty, bready, biscuity, but hoppy taste with licorice and a nuttiness. That's blooming good. That's blooming good. Cheers. I like it. If you want to check out the back of the can, pause the video now. I like it enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.